start that shit, nigga. Fuck it. We don't need no motherfucker. Five, four, three, two, one. Just start it. You know what I'm saying? Wax Groove TV. You know who we be. Uh, don't get the heebie-jeebies. Peace, everybody. It's Universal. Wax Groove TV. <laughs> Esteban Rey, nigga who don't play, was born in May. Fuck wrong with your day. Everything will be okay. Uncle Ruckus. Uh, fuck this. So yeah, we back at it again. We slacked off for a little bit, but it's concert season, as you guys see. Uh, it's been hella concerts uploaded lately. And there's hella more coming, motherfucker. More album reviews and mixtape reviews for you ladies. And, and we got concert today. reviews coming soon, too. Exactly. We're fucking, we gonna review your shits. Them shits is whack, we gonna let you know. If they hard, we gonna let you know. And if they slow, then we gonna let you know. We gonna keep it moving, keep it fast, keep it groovy, waxy. Today we got the Carlton Heist by my mm. man Spitty Andretti with uh, Alchemist on the production. Pfft, man. So let's jump right into this, man. Track one, Introduction, Thief. Um, Typical Alchemist intro. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Takes a sample of a movie and just, you know, rides it out. Typical. It gives you a nice cinematic feel, you know. And it sets the mood just right, lets you know what you're getting into. Definitely. So then we got uh, track two, yeah. which is the first actual track on the mixtape, Black Rally Stripes. Whoa. <laughs> That's what, I, I mean, whoa. The motherfucking <coughs> shit was, the production was crazy. You know, Al, he does his thing. You can't go wrong with Al. You know what I'm saying? A little bit of bringing up, my bad, but spit up bringing them lyrics, you know, straight. His name's Spitter, man. There's nothing more to be said. You know what I'm saying? A little bit of a spoiler alert the fucking production and the chemistry from front to back mm -hmm. is on mm -hmm. par. A1. Top yes. notch. Don't get no better. Motherfucking steak sauce. Yes. Go A1 you, steak sauce. You listeners, go get you a T-bone steak. Not only don't, do you need to roll one up, go get you a fucking nice piece of steak, man. Medium Whatever rare. Whatever you like, T-bone, porterhouse. Got that pink in the middle. New York strip. That A1 down. steak sauce. You know, however you like it. If you, you weak niggas, you want to go get you a piece of flank of steak, something like that, I don't know. You know, track three, cartridge. I mean... It's another banger. I love the drums on this. I mean, it's a typical currency song. Definitely. You know, him just talking about smoking, the cars, lifestyle. You know, uh, the beat was on point. Like I said, straight through the beats is going to be fire. Shit brings that. you back to when you had to blow the Nintendo cartridge because you know you really wanted to fucking play that game. Yeah, man. You really want to fucking hear this. Yeah, man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> We got track four, four, Vibrations. Oh, man. Yeah, he bodied this, like, right off the jump. Yeah, the Juvie <laughs> reference. Go ahead, give it to him. I ain't no pussy-ass nigga, you understand? I'm a rapper, but I'm still a gorilla, you understand? You know what he did? Making them out of something, you did. Yeah, he did I his mean, thing. <laughs> that's straight N-O shit, you understand? It's yeah, crazy. The, the saxophone on this, I don't know if it was a sample or if it was someone actually playing it, but the fucking horns are ridiculous. There's a couple tracks on this mixtape. Where the horns is crazy. I don't even want to call it a mixtape because to me this is better than Canal Street Confidential. Fact. This should have been the album. Um, so know, the it, it's probably due to you know like sample clearances on that shit that it wasn't an album. But and you know what else is nice about this track too? Once he started rapping, yo, he rapped a little bit of aggression. You don't never get that from Currency. He's so laid gotcha. back. He attacked this shit. Literally. So I was like, oh shit, let's go. Mm. Track five, Disappearing Ink, featuring Styles P. They chemistry is crazy. They need to do a whole album I can on mixtape together. I mean, now I could I could feel it coming, you know. Yeah. The first twenty eight that they did was hard, so I could feel it coming. The exactly. next the next onion should be here, man. <laughs> this you is know? banging. I love the love the chemistry between the two of them. Um, Definitely. Styles had a line on here. What did he say? Um, Mama said flourish. Uh, Mama said Mama said flourish, but the money can never nourish me. Like, that's a gem. If you don't understand that, then you need to go back to school and get your shit together. Word. Um, but that's a banger. Then we jump right into track six. Inspiration featuring Action Bronson. Bronsolino. Oh my God, again. <laughs> the chemistry is there. This that's shit is a, ridiculous. This is, this, is, this, is, this is another fucking uh, duo that just needs to do a mixtape. Absolutely. You know they definitely need to do a mixtape. Action Bronson, Currency. You know what I'm saying? Action Bronson came through on the, um, the drive through theater joint. He did his thing and came back on this joint. Oh my God. <laughs> How he started it off? He said, uh, Do you breezy like 
fucking brown paper bag and a fish, something like that shit. Yeah. It's something like that. <laughs> that, shit, together, so that shit together. was so vivid though, you know, I like fucking fried fish in, in a brown paper bag. That shit is just gonna be crazy greasy, you know? Yeah, he definitely yeah, painted the picture. Oh my god. And as soon as he attacked this track, he never looked back. It nah. was just boom, yeah, and he just did. ran with it. Killed it. Mm -hmm. Currency came through on it, but goddamn, Action Bronson spazzed out on this shit. And I ain't hear no action in a minute, to be totally honest. Like, besides some features, you know what I'm saying? Like, so. He's saving that for that Blue Chip 7, man. He, he waiting. He gotta bounce back after fucking Mr. Wonderful, so. Yeah. He's saving yeah. them, saving them, jo them joints for us. Yeah, and he's doing a bunch of fuck that's delicious. Yep. Um, we got track 7, 500 pounds of gas. Whew. Fuego. You know what I'm saying? I mean, Fuego. 500 pounds of gas was more than Fuego. Than you got 500 pounds of gas, goddamn. Fuego. You know what I'm saying? That's a lot of gas. Fuego. That's all I'm gonna say, you know what I'm saying? And, and if you don't even know, that's a, that's a whole another realm of a world, you know? If you ain't no motherfucking smoker, you don't roll up, none of that shit. And you might not even get that, you know what I'm saying? But neither here nor there. Little side note, that's why we had to bust out the blue light today. <laughs> yeah, you know I mean, cause this this is for the smokers, man. Definitely. Fuego. You know. So when we move on to track eight, the MacBook. Uh. Woo, the sample on here. Goddamn Alchemist. I would love to fucking yeah. dig through your crates. <laughs> on my notes, I put, oh my God, for the beat and the flow. The shit was fucking Gwen Stefani B Bananas. B-A-N-A-N-A-S. <laughs> that shit was fucking bananas, man. This like, shit oh was my God. Crazy. Definite. So track nine. Uh, 93, 93 AMG. Woo! Yeah, this was this to me was very soothing. On some, this, if you sick Vicks Vapor Rub type shit, you know what I'm saying? It's like that. It's gonna help you out, heal you up, get you that soothe back nice and soothing. You know what I'm saying? So if you got a sore throat, sip the ginger tea type shit. You know? And he opened up on this a little bit too. He talked about friends being being uh, crossed and losing friends. Oh, definitely. Um, yeah. Yeah. Like I was telling him, I hear if you could have added another feature, Smoke Dizza should have been on this beat. This just yes. screamed Dizza all day. It's very but true. even without him, still loved it. A banger. So then we go to track 10. Fat Albert wow. featuring Lil Wayne. I had to turn around on him real quick. Because this Lil Wayne that we got here, this is the Lil Wayne that we need. I ain't never been a Wayne fan in my life. But Jesus Christ. I'm not going to lie. I'm, I, I was a Wayne fan. I was a cash money fan. You know what I'm saying? I could, I could relate to all that shit. Like when Wayne said he'd been a soldier since the TR, TRU shit. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's NO shit. And I'm from CT, nigga. But you know what I'm saying? We live in a global village now. So back when I was a little young, and you know, I used to bump all this shit. All the big time and shit. Mm. The motherfucking BG. All, all mm. them niggas. I used to have all this shit, man. You yeah. Know? But this Wayne that we got here. Hopefully this is the Wayne that we see in the future. Cause this Wayne over that boom bap and him flowing to that boom bap, that's where he need to be right now. Yeah, definitely. Smoking in the rain, track 11. Like you said, this one should have had Gangsta Gibbs on it. Yeah man, I definitely heard Gangsta Gibbs on this yes. track all day. And it's ironic that those two features that he said should have been on it was on Covert Coop, which yep. was their last joint venture project between Alchemist and yep. Spitter. Yeah, I love the horns on this. Like I said, the, the horns that Alchemist had throughout this fucking mixtape were ridiculous. Mm -hmm. I love to dig through his fucking crates and see what he got going on. Um, Currency talks about, what are you mentioning here? Losing people. Um, ever since he became rich, you know, friends that he did have. No lost his bottom heads. bitch and shit. Yep, lost the bottom bitch, everything. Yeah. Um, mm. Then we got track 12, Dry Run. I mean, it speaks for itself. It speaks for itself, man. Perfect way to end the mixtape. Definitely. Just close it out with a fucking banging sample. I mean, shh. This shit was bananas, man. This shit was crazy. I mean, what what you gonna rate this, huh? Hey, yo, so what you uh, said you rated this shit? Oh, my God, man. Niggas had to step outside because that shit was so hot. Niggas had to cool off, man. This, this is fucking classic. Ghost chili pepper, jerk chicken, whatever you want to rate this at the top of the fucking Richter scale. This shit almost broke it. Niggas had to step outside, man. It was hot. 
I had to let you know. This is the first fucking Ghost Chili Pepper classic material that we put out, gave out on the motherfucking Wanks group, right? Definite, definite. This shit you know? was some fire. Straight fuego. That's why we outside. Because it's hot than a motherfucker after listening to that bitch. Cold that It's just negative out here, man. It's and like... Niggas, I'm still hot, man. Fuck, man. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know it's like negative one degrees right now in Connecticut. Yeah. This shit was fucking some fire. Let us know what you think. Comment, like, subscribe. Cameraman shaking his shit. <laughs> you Don't know? forget to share our shit. <laughs> um, um, yeah. We'd like to send a special thanks out to motherfucking Spitter Eardreddy and Alchemist for putting this motherfucking ghost chili pepper in your motherfucking mouth. Pause. You know what I'm saying? You know? Go get your palate right. Yeah, but definitely check this out. And like I said, we're going to add a new spin to our concerts all the concerts we go to we're gonna recap them let us know what you think any good shows coming up anything y'all want us to review and if i catch you and i find out you ain't watched the motherfucking ad you might get smacked uh dab <laughs> <laughs> peace we out <laughs>